and hello what's up good folks it's been a while but i'm back now let's get down to the show today we're looking at netflix um you know love at first sight now here are some reasons why you should watch this love what, what, what more do you need? You need love in your life. You need something to cuddle over. It's based on a book. Tops. Romance. Love. Feel good. Reasons to snuggle. Kiss. Hug. Oh, it's lovely. It really is. It's cliche, but it's lovely. That's what's important. So... Before I get down with my review, let's hit with you the intro. Let go. You are now listening to an episode of the Let's Netflix and Chill podcast hosted by Reese Chanson. Alrighty, we're back. Okay, let's kick things up a notch. Ooh, sorry about that. Okay, um, first things first, it's a great movie. It's interesting, dope. I think everybody should watch it with your lover. Uh, it's a drama based on books I already mentioned. It's uh, pretty long, like an hour 31 minutes long. Uh, it's currently the number one Netflix uh, movie right now. The story ta tales or follows two strangers who meet on a flight. Now, the thing that I loved about this movie is the narrator who shows up in every bloody scene. She's a, she's a flight attendant. She's just a random lady on the street. She works at the ticket checkoff place at the airport. She sells groceries. She's a bus driver. Jesus, I'm surprised she didn't even uh, preside over the wedding. She was everywhere there, everywhere, which was genius by my opinion. The way they put the narrator into the story, and oddly enough, no one seemed to know that that's the narrator. <laughs> like, how do you not see this? She was showing up everywhere. She was a hair, air flight stewardess. She was, she, she, she basically was God itself manifested in this story to bring it to life and make everything grand again. That was her job, and she did it fantastically. And I gotta say, I was really, 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 really loving this film. So, with that being said, I enjoyed it. Love it first sight. Now, uh, here are some spoilers. Alert! Spoiler one, like I already mentioned, it's a bit cliche. Like they meet at an airport and they fall in love. They take an eight hour flight from New York, if I'm not mistaken, to London, where she goes to a wedding and he goes to a, I don't know what this is, a memorial of his mother who's alive. But which is a brilliant thing, by my opinion. Like this is the most genius thing I've ever heard of. You know you're going to die. Like, this woman has cancer, lung cancer. And she's like, fuck it. I'm not going to let you niggas uh, say some nice shit when I'm in a coffin. I want y'all to say some nice shit while I'm alive and ready to hear it. That's what she does. She puts together this memorial and everybody shows up and they tell stories. They sing. They do a whole bunch of stuff. Which is the most genius thing I ever saw in my entire life. And I think everybody should watch it. Now, is that the reason to watch it? No. A bunch of other reasons. Like, love. If you believe in love, if you believe in fate, this is a good film. It's got a bunch of statistics because this guy, Oliver, he's, a, he's studying statistics at Yale, apparently. And he just puts stats in everything. And the narrator gets in on the fun. They're like, 2% of people at, at fall in love at airports, 2% of that, 15% of that, 10% of that. Just like 1% of y'all will like this video after seeing it, which is a very sad thing. But if only 100% of you saw this... I know it's like 10 of y'all, but I'm just saying, it'd be nice if you like this video. And if you're listening to this on audio during the multiple audio platforms that we distribute this podcast on, share, rate us, do what you can. 
I'm not, I'm not even know what I'm doing here. Anyway, that is my so-called disappointing review of this. I don't know why I keep doing these things. Anyway, um, remember to watch the film with your girlfriend or your boyfriend. It, I think it'd be very dull to watch this on your own because it gets cliche and shit. And with all those lovey-dovey scenes that you like, kiss him already, kiss her already. It's nice to have someone holding your hand as you say these nice words like, kiss him. He wants you to kiss him. Kiss him. Or kiss her. But I don't know. Or kiss them. Kiss them. Kiss they, them, them, them. Anyway, folks, um, I'm out. Here's the outro. Now that was entertaining. You just listened to an episode of the Let's Netflix and Show podcast with Reese Jansen. With that being said, remember to support the podcast on Patreon. And let's hang out another time. Adios, folks. Adios. Don't be a hater. Like this shit. Don't be a hater, like this shit and share.